I would say that the work I do at Framilab involves working with big science machines. I mean, these are some of the most highly engineered and complex structures ever made by human beings. The main control room is the place on site where the accelerators are operated, monitored 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. As an accelerator operator, these are the lifeblood of the complex. There's nothing that happens that you're not aware of as far as operations of the machines. It's probably the, the most important job at the lab. We operate out of the main control room. We're really at the, the driver's seat of it all. We monitor the beam lines from the very beginning all the way to the end where you're hitting a stream of protons into a graphite target. All along that way, it all has to be working perfect harmony. We're not really a technician, we're not really a physicist, a scientist, an engineer, but we're a little bit of a mix of all of those roles. And really we are an interface between those departments and the accelerator. So anytime something breaks, we are on the front lines to address it, assess it, identify who needs to be involved, what needs to be done, and then to set those events in motion. Operators receive a lot of training. The training program takes about two years on average and you get to know basically every single part of every single machine at the lab. How to fix them, how to monitor them, how to take care of them. You're sort of the first sign of defense. We solve so many problems every day. Sometimes you'll see an ion pump come into alarm, and an ion pump is how we maintain the vacuum in the beam line. My favorite part of being an operator is looking at the issue and figuring out, oh, I need to go to one of the service buildings and reset something or try to find the issue physically. Every particle that we accelerate at the facility actually originates in a small bottle of hydrogen that we keep in a building right behind me. We then accelerate that through our LINAC. We strip off the electrons, and then we start the acceleration process in, our, in Booster. In Booster, the beam is already reaching just under the speed of light. So from there, we can send it to our B&B &B or Booster Neutrino beamline experiments, or we can send it to Main Injector Recycler. We take those high energy protons and we accelerate them into a target, and new particles come out. Those may be pions, kaons, all sorts of subatomic detritus comes out the other end. All of this happens within 1.2 seconds. The operator's main goal is to do things like tune up the beam line, which means you try to reduce losses, improve efficiency of the beam from start to finish. For our fixed target experiments, we'll have experimenters call us and they'll be looking at a histogram of where the beam is hitting their target. And sometimes they want it higher or lower based on whatever experiment they're doing. So they'll call us and they'll ask, hey, could you guys move it up a couple millimeters? And then we get to look at maps and figure out which magnet I want to change the current to, and I'll change it by like half an amp. And then the beam is now up three millimeters from where it was. That beam, it's a whole collection of many, many, many particles. The highest recorded intensity within the main injector, it was over 58 times 10 to the power of 12 protons. That's, that's more particles than there are stars within the galaxy, all contained within this very small space within that beam pipe. The beam pipe is only about this big, and as we send beam, we can actually move in the beam pipe where the beam falls, because if it's too far to one side, we might scrape the beam pipe, and that can cause beam loss, that can cause unnecessary radiation. And so by positioning the beam very specifically, we are able to reduce losses, increase efficiency, and increase safety also. Safety is our highest priority. One of the most important jobs we do is search and secure, which is the act of going into these enclosures, looking around, and confirming that there's nobody in these enclosures before we start up. That is by far the most important job that we have. Everything here is all about redundancy, safeguard upon safeguard to ensure that everyone around here is safe, whether it's from electrical hazards or radiation hazards. So anytime before, we turn things back on, turn on high voltage electrical equipment, you know, start sending beam through and creating 
this hazardous radiation within the enclosure, you still need to go through and verify that no one is there before you have the potential for introducing that level of hazard to someone. Fermilab is America's particle physics laboratory. This is the place in the United States if you want to study matter, energy, space, and time at its most fundamental, basic level. Fermilab's where you want to be. You know, I find it all incredibly meaningful. You really feel like you're a part of something bigger. You're, you're working with people, trying to uncover the mysteries of the universe, just working off of the shoulders of giants. I'm always learning. We want to see you know, how far we can push the boundaries of science. And every day is interesting. I'm never bored. I think that's part of why I like to be here. Being part of these experiments makes me feel like I'm an important member of the scientific community. It means a lot to me to be able to contribute to these things and get to see the results because I get to think to myself, like, I helped make that happen. I am just so thrilled to be a part of this and I definitely appreciate how special it is and I really love coming to work every day because it's just like the cool factor is off the charts.